darlings and welcome to another Haley's Help. In today's vlog, I am going to be showing you all how to clean stainless steel with this conditioner. So stick around and let's get going. Okay guys, so the reason I wanted to do this vlog is I have upgraded my toaster and kettle. I do this from time to time just because you know what it's like, toasters and kettles, they do end up getting old and battered and somehow one of my children managed to break our toaster, so we needed to get a new set. So I headed over to Amazon. These are the ones that I decided to go for. The reason for this is the kettle has different heating settings, so this is really handy for me when I'm like, for those of you that follow me on Instagram, I like to make bread sometimes, and you have to have like different temperature water for different types of bread. So that's really good for that. But also, it's got like a um, keep warm setting. So once you've boiled it, rather than having to keep reboiling it, I am a mum, and before you know it, I've gone to make a cup of tea, and then one of the kids is like, mum, and I'm like, can I just have a tea break? No, I then have to go upstairs, but I can leave the kettle so it's left warm. Um, and it, it's I can, as soon as I come back, I can pour it and it hasn't completely cooled down. So it saves you having to keep reboiling the kettle to get a nice hot cup of tea. So I really like that about it. The toaster has got a section where you can cook like different things in it. So you can cook beans, you can cook eggs. I haven't actually used it for any of the um, beans and stuff, but I do sometimes use it to do sienna, a dippy egg, because she does like a dippy egg. So you can do the toast and the egg at the same time. So again, that is wonderful, because it's a proper multitasker, but it does it for you. I don't have to multitask anymore, because my toaster does it. Anyway, these toaster and kettle though is stainless steel. So I wanted to show you guys exactly how you can keep stainless steel looking smudge free and shiny and nice. This particular method will also apply if you have a stainless steel fridge and you've got sticky fingers on your fridge or marks on your fridge. You can go ahead and use this for that too. The first thing that I do when cleaning my kettle and toaster is the toaster. So, the toaster, there's different ways and methods that people use of doing this. For me, I think the easiest way is I put all the stuff that comes apart from this particular one into the sink. You'll have a tray as well underneath your toaster that collects any crumbs. Pull that out, empty that in the bin. That can go in the sink as well with some antibacterial washing up liquid. Give that all a wash up and then on your draining board, tip the toaster up so it's upside down and then just bang the bottom a little bit, not too hard, just to get rid of any other crumbs and that should release any other bits and pieces that were lurking around inside. Once you've done that, you can go and get a clean cloth with your antibacterial washing up liquid and just wipe over the whole, whole toaster. You don't want the cloth to be completely soaking though, you just want it kind of damp. Wipe over the whole toaster, and then we are good to crack on with the polishing with our conditioner. Now, we're gonna go ahead and put the conditioner on to a microfiber cloth. Don't use loads of the conditioner. You don't want any more than about a five pence piece, so about that sort of size. And then um, put that on, and you're just gonna rub it in. Into it. What you can also do as well is grab yourself another clean microfiber cloth, and just buff it off at the end for an extra shine. We're gonna do exactly the same now on the kettle as well. That is gonna get a complete wipe over with the cloth, with the antibacterial washing up liquid. And then we are gonna go ahead and also shine that up with our conditioner. Thanks for watching my vlog 
guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you think anyone else will find this video helpful, share it across social media. I'll see you all again next time, right here on the Hayley's Help channel. Bye guys.